In this video, I show you the greatest Valk cams on coastline, border, and lair. Stay tuned because these Valk cams are champion level and they will completely confuse, bewilder, and disorient any enemies. If you haven't already, subscribing and liking is greatly appreciated. It would mean a lot for me. I spend a lot of effort on these videos and the more support I get on these videos, the better I can make them in future. Let's get started. Starting off, we have Coastline. Here are a couple of Valk cameras. Slamming little kids in one ones. A couple of Valk cams that you can use. The first one we have is the Hidden Cool Vibes Valk cam. You put this in the corner over here in a hallway near the Billard's Lounge. And this gets you a nice rat angle well, onto Cool Vibes stairs. As you can see, when you're coming up Cool Vibes stairs, you cannot contest this camera. If you're leaning all the way to the right, which you shouldn't be as an attacker, you can see right. the camera. However, the camera can see more of you than you can of it, and this is perfect for swinging like any enemies coming up Cool Vibes. This next well. camera is pretty situational. If the enemy is pushing from Aquarium uh, or Aqua, you can go ahead and put a cam right there. So when you're being contested, you quickly shoot this cam, revealing it, and you can see over there, and then you can go ahead and Nitro anyone who has killed your teammate and is attempting to plant or your teammates can call it to you always trying to swing in and then you can get the advantage on him and win until his key in rainbow six siege as a 3.0 made champion i know this for a fact next we have a camera and aquarium uh, this should be your third valve cam if you don't want to use the speaker and putting this over there lets you see out the window uh, near pool table lets you see anyone trying to play on default lets you see anyone coming in through aquarium through luggage or that side balcony out there and that's a really hard cam to contest because you have to go out of your way to look at it and shoot it and as long as your uh lap grown teammates are not red pinging this should be a great camera for you to use in any of your ranked matches this gives you a lot of intel and it's hidden two things that a lot of players look forward to when playing valkyrie our next camera is the one i showed in the intro this one is going to have you put at the uh east end of the hallway on second floor you're going to go ahead and stick your valve camera up in the little cupboard after making deagle holes. And you're probably thinking, okay, this is pretty obvious. You know, why shouldn't I just make a hole put my valve cam in the corner? Uh, because we're champions here, we're not coppers. This lets you see into VIP lounge. And it's a pretty good camera. You can nitro over it. And my good friend Knight had a, a strategy to hide it more. If you reinforce it more and you put these uh higher up holds out more it's less obvious and you can nitro people through it and if you're playing in penthouse as well uh, this is a good cam to contest anyone coming in through the main breach over there or if you're playing in hookah uh this is a good contest for anyone coming in through bedroom i know a couple of amaru mains that come in through there or dropping the hatch in bathroom and trying to go for a rush this is an easy way to deny that from second floor on coastline we're going to be going downstairs now this is when you're defending kitchen your first valve cam make sure you're trying to master this so it's not obvious to the drones is trying to get your valve cam in this little cupcake holder or this burger holder whatever this thing is i'm not a culinary expert here uh, maybe someone will correct me so i know the right thing but anyways once you get your camera in here uh, be advised it's pretty sticky don't take that out of context uh, this is a good cam for anyone hopping in for a window plant or anyone pushing in from back your next cam is going to be in sunrise bar you're going to go on this little wine storage thing uh, this little like food cart and you're gonna put it at the second bottom row and this is gonna hide your valve camera It's also gonna let you know if anyone's pushing in through kitchen hallway Going for that default plant over there So now all of a site is covered by your valve cams and you're only using two cams Which means that your third camera can be used for other stuff your third camera However, if you want to put in what other spot? Uh, I have a good spot for you. You might want to take some notes here putting it in this little corner all right the old devs knew what they were doing when they were making maps new devs uh, purely coincidental if you find a good spot but this valve cam was meant to be all right this is like some divine intervention crap you're gonna make an impact hole right there and this lets you watch into uh, kitchen and service prep so anyone coming out here that's trying to rush in through service if they're doing a service take or anything you can contest them all the way from main lobby and this gets you a great angle if you have an ACOG or 1.5 or 2.0 site, I would highly recommend uh, setting this camera up for your teammate and he can play off of it. Maybe bringing a shield or something. Uh, here's a little demonstration of what would happen in a real match if this were a thing. Our next map is Border. Our first Valk cam is pretty simple. Once you spawn second floor, you want to go over to Archives and you'll put your Valk cam behind this fan. This hides your Valk cam and also gives you a great angle on anyone trying to plant in Archives or anyone coming in through metal. Your next camera 
is going to be in this little metal box right here in second floor waiting room. Uh, just waiting for past me to throw it. Come on. There we go. Okay. Uh, as you can see, it looks like it's part of the box if it's not on. You know, once a Valcam is on, it's pretty obvious. So there's, you can barely do anything to hide that. But this gets you some really good leverage on the map. And this lets you know if anyone's coming in through offices, uh, main wall take, or whatnot. You can see the hallway. You can see below. I would say you can probably see about 40% of the map, maybe 37% just from that one Val camp, and that is a lot. Oh, it's yeah. not obvious unless you're constantly on it, and the blue is going to stand out, but it blends in really well when it's not an next Val cam. This is for when you're going bathrooms or um, construction, or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, you put your cam over here in the main hallway where this little red take a ticket thing is at. And this lets you see bathroom, this lets you see main lobby, anyone coming in through there. Next cam, go upstairs. Do not do this cam when you're up top though, because it's very obvious. But if you're down below, this cam should work for you. This lets you see all of waiting room and people playing second floor. People going to try and do vert, like ram, fuse, buck, or sledge. That way you can be like, oh, watch out, teammate. You know, there's a guy fusing and he won't lose your entire team to a single cluster charge. You got to protect your lab grown teammates, all right? And uh, test tube babies, you know, this batch this past week hasn't been really that good, so I have to make these Valcam videos to preserve what we have left of the Siege community. Here's another example of what this would look like if you're playing up top and you open that wall and you're trying to contest anyone coming in through there. Okay, this next cam is in oh. Workshop. I did this one completely by accident, but if you put a bright light inside of another bright light, Why that will demonstrate. Or Knight will say exactly what I was going to say. But yeah, you really cannot tell. Uh, this is a great cam watching anyone trying to get the wall when you're playing in bathroom. And it, it, you really cannot tell. It blends in really well. And it lets you see a lot. It lets you see a little bit of main lobby as well. Moving on from Border, we have Lair, uh, one of my favorite maps in Siege. First cam is in Reception. Uh, this is good for or second floor. And you're going to want to put this in the left rocket. Uh, right at the top and what this is going to do is this is going to let you see uh, anyone coming in through second floor in that little main passageway that they're trying to get into sight. Another cam for second floor, uh, ignoring Dracula talking to his mother. Uh, putting this camera inside of the R6 room uh, and this lets you see both sites. Uh, let's you see anyone coming in through B site. It lets you see anyone coming through main A site or on that side breach wall. A really quick valve cam to set up. Just make sure no like no drones see it. Your next cam is going to be in second floor operational, and uh, this lets you see anyone coming in through like this main area that a lot of people like to push through. If you're second floor or if you're below anyone trying to play vert on you, you can destroy this TV. But be advised, the more that you destroy it, the less hidden your valve cam is. So more visibility but less protection, less cover built, like less cover for your valve cam. Uh, here's me demonstrating what uh, no cover looks like and how much of the room you can see when the TV is fully broken. This next valve cam is for if you're going security or armory, or not, security or uh, dorms for the first floor of lair. And putting this cam exactly in this little inlet right here, looking south in security. This hides your cam pretty well, and the blue light is the only thing that will give it away since it blends in with the background. Uh, once again, this lets you see anyone coming in through security, this main door over here, or the other main take. Most people come in through this area, or they try and get the main wall. If main wall is bandited and they don't have a hard breacher, this is where they're going to push in from. So having eyes on them at all times is uh, something you want to do. Our next cam for briefing. This one's really easy. You're just going to put it in the projector. It blends in. It looks like it's part of the projector. And this lets you see anyone coming in through sight. And the final cam for briefing, you want to go in bunk corridor. You want to look south in this little corner above the stairway sign. You're going to get it right in that dark corner. And this felt cam is absolutely amazing. This one is the best for last right here. This lets you see anyone in this hallway. It's super hidden. They have to go out of their way to look at it. And they're not going to find this unless they have an IQ or unless someone on your team oh, is yeah. ratting for the enemy. That, if you have a spy on your team, you know, you shouldn't have a spy on your team if you're trying to go for a higher rank. It's not something you want to do. Don't get Elo trapped now. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, oh, thank you to just, NPC Dediac and my friend Knight. Ignore my Xbox background. We're not going to talk about it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.
Hey, we can break them and cross them out of the way. 